Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we have a pretty interesting, pretty different story about a new video game console that just came out called Xbox Series X. That's right, two new video game consoles are coming out this month. Both Xbox and PlayStation are releasing their new iterations and we've talked about PlayStation a bit already. They have some issues and controversies with their Spider-Man game, but more importantly today, Xbox is finally coming into the fold. They're finally coming up for a very strange kind of of issue I never would have expected. It basically is coming because the new console is coming out. It's going to be this big popular thing everyone's trying to play and talk about. And in response to that, what tends to happen with popular things and trends, well, you can usually find a couple of leftists who will complain about it. There's usually going to be always at least one SJW who will say, no, stop this. Don't do this. Don't have fun. Don't play your game. I have a complaint. I want to change this. I want to ruin your space. I want to change everything. And just make things worse and annoying and terrible. This happens all the time if you think about it. Popular movies always get scrutinized. Leftists will say they need more actors of this kind. They think there's too many white people. The story is racist, something like that. They might say this about a popular video game too. Other popular games and series and music, musicians. Anything that gets into the mainstream will get scrutinized like this. And that's why we like to make response videos and combat this silly stuff and give them a sort of taste of response, like a stern response to just tell them they're wrong. This is not something to complain about. This is just you trying to get attention. And in turn, sure, we're trying to get attention too. I'm trying to get people to watch my video. I'll admit that. But I think I do it in a way that is entertaining and fun and reasonable and something that an audience like you guys watching really enjoy. But as for the leftists, they tend to get propped up and put into major outlets without deserving it, without having an audience of their own. They just get put into these sorts of big major outlets and places of power just because they're woke leftists and they went to a feminist college or something like that. So that's an example for today. As you can see by this article, this is from Kutaku. It says, Xbox Series X has too many horrifying holes. This is an article from Ash Parish last Thursday. As you can see, there's an emoji crying. You could see some of the holes on the Xbox. The Xbox Series X has an interesting design. It's basically, you could see behind this picture, it's like a square. It's like this kind of square console that has a lot of circles on the back, on the top. This is for air. This is so that it can vent. These things need a lot of ventilation. These gaming consoles will have a lot of stuff going on in there, a lot of motors and hard drives and bits and chips and lots of heating going on, essentially, especially if you get a disc in there and you spin a disc and add that to the process, too. There's a lot going on, and that's why they always are worrying about ventilation. That's why these things tend to run hot, and sometimes you have to put them in a cooler spot. You don't want to have them too closed up in a tight kind of cabinet or something like that. You got to let them breathe. Got to let them air out. And that's just kind of the explanation. And then from what I could tell, from what I've gathered from the story so far, essentially there's this kind of phobia where people are afraid of holes. They're afraid of little circles like this. That's a real thing, apparently. I'm not really sure. I don't know the specific details about it. I'm not a scientist or a doctor or anything like that. But I hear about this phobia. Of, I've heard of it once or twice before and now it's coming up in this case. In this case, we're talking about how these circles are triggering some reporter at Kotaku. And then, like I was saying, this is the website Kotaku. Somehow, this thing got so woke and they hire these sort of woke artists, woke writers to give them points and to have them complain about stuff and give them more content to appeal and pander to the left-wing side. And this is another thing, before we read into the article, this just reminds me of the typical kind of left-wing complaints. They're always complaining about something something. They're always coming up with some kind of phobia or disease or disorder. They're always saying they're depressed or have issues, mental instabilities. They say they need to go to a doctor. They say they have this or that. They brag about it even. I mean, this is part of the left-wing premise. I mean, they're all about identity politics. And previously, that was focused on race and things like gender and other kinds of parts of your personality. But nowadays, they're getting into the fringes and they're talking more about alphabet stuff, which involves your, your sex sexuality and who you love and what kind of people you love. And then past that, they move past into this realm of like disabilities and ailments and stuff like that. Like disabled people get special treatment. People that are scared of say spiders or have another kind of phobia get a special treatment. And that's really where this is going. This is going down that path of liberals wanting special treatment, wanting to feel like a snowflake, like they're special, they're unique. And that's why they come up with all these issues. And they think that makes them sound cool. But I've seen this time and time 
again, I've seen this on Twitter a lot, especially that's a liberal cesspool. I've seen it in a lot of internet spaces. And to me, it kind of makes me feel the opposite, actually. I know they want to sound cool and sound like they're just awesome and they have this disease and it gives them special priority over everyone else. But to me, I just see it as them advertising their weaknesses, showing off how troubled they might be or how many problems and issues they have with, say, their thinking, their brain, their body, their metabolism, whatever issue they're bringing up. In this case, we're talking about a kind of phobia. So it's kind of mental disability almost, almost like a kind of hinderment. In typical world, in an honest, fair world, we would bring up this stuff and say, hey, you have an issue, you might want to fix it with some medicine or something. But nowadays, they use that as a badge of honor. It gives them special treatment. They're not considering it the hindrance that it really is. As reviews for the Xbox Series X arrive, I'm here to talk about one aspect of the console that could impact your desire to buy one, as it has mine. I am a tripophobe and I cannot own an Xbox Series X because it has a lot of holes. And then since this, they have a warning here, a trigger warning, which is a classic left-wing thing. They always are worried about triggering people because they're just so sensitive. They can't handle things. They can't handle the internet, which is kind of creepy, but uh, kind of sad, really. But let's keep reading on. Tripophobia, Google it at your own peril, lest you suddenly and violently discover you too are afflicted, is described as the fear of small holes. Shout out to the American Psychiatric Association for at least waiting a few paragraphs before including images that caused me to yeet my laptop. Most online explanations of tripophobia unfortunately include pictures. Tripophobia is not included in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, so it's not an officially recognized mental disorder, but it's estimated that 16% of people suffer from it. I am unfortunately one of them. And you could tell this kind of writing, the way they describe it, the way they hype it up, they feel like they're special. They feel like this is something good for them. Like, oh, I'm great. I got this sort of ailment. I've got this sort of disability. I have a mental disorder. So that makes me better than you. That makes me more preferable. I have special treatment. They think, oh, everyone should feel sorry for them. Everyone should accommodate them and get them these special places. And I mean, that's not totally wrong. We do that with disabled people. We give them special parking spots and entrances to buildings. There's always a ramp for people with wheelchairs, but there's a certain point where you're kind of getting a little extreme. You're just kind of wanting attention. This is not something that's life or death. You're not in a wheelchair because you got hit by a car or something really, really bad. It's just someone who doesn't like holes, can't deal with it, can't reason with themselves or get therapy or whatever it is to fix that. In addition, the other thing worth noting before moving forward is it's not included in disorders because it's probably just something that's exaggerated or maybe included in another disorder of like whichever it might be part of OCD or someone that has ADD or something else like that, something else that might be similar. And I just, that's why I just question it and question them bringing it up and trying to pin it on the Xbox at a very opportune time. They're trying to diss the Xbox as it comes out and get themselves attention and clicks and views on their website in the process. Any uniform arrangement of small holes or spaces induces revulsion in me, accompanied with a straight flight response. Common triggers for me are usually organic, but can include man-made things such as certain manhole covers, those loftus pods that come with Korean barbecue or dried potpourri, pine cones, sunflower heads, gauze or bandages, any liquid mixture that bubbles like cooking pancakes or blooming yeast, this map of election results, and the great at the top of the Xbox Series X. So this is mostly on the top. That's another picture of that. This is a person who is triggered by a lot of little things. And it appears, I think the issue really is there's nothing wrong with having an issue. I'm not trying to knock them. I'm not even trying to say it's fake, although it's very questionable. And I think some people might take it a bit far to get attention. But assuming that it's true, I mean, it's still not the worst thing in the world. It's still not like going to really kill you or make you severely, severely injured. It's just something that makes you gag. Apparently, it sounds like that's what it is. And I don't know what they're expecting. Like if they thought Microsoft should have considered this, even at the highest, which I think is too high of an estimate, they say 16% of people might suffer from trip, but I think it might even be less. I think this is like an overblown kind of thing. This person is trying to get attention and they're trying to kind of poop rain on the parade of the Microsoft Xbox party. I knew the Series X was going to be trouble the minute its design was revealed. The holes are just big and prominent enough to trigger a response. The Series S is a bit better since the holes on its speaker are small enough to be obscured when viewed at a distance. Up close, it's still slightly unsettling, but the annoyance factor is more negligible. My response to all these holes is not very strong, so I can continue to work at Kotaku without gagging every five minutes.
minutes as our coverage of the cursed console increases as we get closer to release date. But I don't think I could keep the new Xboxes in my home without prolonged exposure making me want to throw the console away. So this to me, it just seems like Kotaku is shooting themselves in the foot. They're probably regretting this hire. They're getting what they deserve too because they're pandering to these woke people that are known to always complain, to always be triggered, to always have issues with everything. They find issues. They actively seek to ruin things and find problems that they complain about. Essentially, that's their job is to complain. And that's why it's kind of bad when the liberals invite that into their own company, like Kotaku is probably regretting this because now this isn't the only person in SJW they've hired. We've seen them be riddled with articles like this throughout the recent years. And you just think about working at a place like that. Like I can't imagine having a bunch of people with all these issues and disabilities. You'd be walking on eggshells all the time. Anytime you might say, talk to the opposite sex, they'll say that's offensive or sexist. If you reference anything outside of your own race, you'll be called racist. If you bring the wrong kind of item in, if it has too many circles on it, that'll be deemed offensive, so on and so forth. It's a very silly premise and it's worth talking about because it's just so funny that Xbox has to deal with this kind of attack. It's funny that Taku would print this article as if it was like a real relevant thing. This is some kind of opinion piece. This is some kind of weird thing. I just don't understand it, but that's where we're at today. That about wraps things up. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Tell me what you think about the new Xbox. The Series X and Series S just came out this week. Are you interested? Are you going to be playing the new Xbox? Are you going to be afraid of these holes? Does anyone out there actually suffer from this tryptophobia? Is that a real thing? Or is this person just acting a little loony? Tell me what you think below. Comment your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw. And we'll see you on the next post.